How we doing everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do subscribe and do hit the bell notification so you know when we next upload a video. What we're looking at here today is some self-adhesive suede lining material. We're going to be using this on a Volkswagen T5 A post and B pillar trims. It's a sticky, stretchy material and it lends itself well to trimming panels. So uh, let's have a look at the film and uh, we'll talk you through what we're doing. Thanks for watching. First of all, we want to degrease our trim panels that we're working with. We want to make sure they're as clean as possible. Here we're just using a normal degreaser. Allow that to dry. Now we can roll out the material. It's in a 1.5 meter wide roll. Cut over size. And now we can look to removing the backing paper from the self-adhesive suede line material. In this case, we're rolling the material out and then we'll be laying the material across the trim panel, making sure for the start that we get into the middle of the lowest point of the panel, and then we can start working out from there, stretching as we go to remove any creases. If we started on the outside, the possibilities of getting the stretch to the inside lowest parts would possibly be very very difficult and result in it not working. So start with your lowest dips first, work your material around the trim panel, stretching and pulling as you go and tucking around the edges of the trim panel. All the excess can be dealt with afterwards, we just want to make sure that that face has no creases no creases give us the best presentation here tucking in all the time checking your work once you're happy then you can then get in there with a Stanley blade or scissors and start removing the excess material that you have left behind. Cutting carefully, allowing yourself enough material to lip over the edge, which will give for a, a nicer finish when you inspect the panel up close. Some areas can be tricky to work in, some areas can be a bit awkward and fiddly to get to, but time, patience, and uh, your product when finished can come out excellent. Now we can look to get these holes cut for the middle for the seat belt. Cutting as close to the center as possible to allow enough material to be folded back round behind and under the trim panel. As said this material can be easy to work with with time and patience. There's uh, possibilities of course that you could run into problems and you do need to restart. But as you can see there, the panel is nicely trimmed and that is ready to be accepted back into the van. And with that Alcantara type suede effect there, it does make for a nice finish rather than painted plastic. So what we're going to do next is the lower half of the B post. Again, cut out oversize, remove the backing paper from the suede lining material. And this time we're going to stick as we go. A flatter panel is a lot easier to work with than one with uh, undulations and dips. We do have a dip in the bottom there but a relief cut allows us the access to be able to work the material in properly. 
clear the creases, stretch and fold around the edges and stick as before. These lower panels are a lot easier to work with than the A post and with the upper B post panels. Trim as you go and cut the material to allow the trim clips to be exposed and free to be able to work when it's put back into the van. In this case we've added a bit of glue into the bottom there because it was just starting to lift. That has held it secure and as you can see the panel has come out lovely. On bigger surfaces this material works really well. You can really see the different colours from the grain that come out. So now we're moving on to the A post. Again, cleaning, making sure that the surface area is clear. Remove any trims that are attached to the post. In this case, there was a bent. Peel your backing paper again. Lay on as you go. Working all those creases out. And then moving to pulling it around the side and in again. The format is pretty much the same for whatever trim panel you're working with. It's just more challenging the more curves, dips and dents that you have to deal with. But it certainly makes for a nice finish to an otherwise plastic panel. Gives it a plush feel. As said, the format is the same for whatever you're trimming. A little care, a little attention to detail and patience, uh, this material can work well. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. We'll catch up with you soon. Appreciate all the support. Get out there, give this a go.